Welcome back family and friends and today I have a special video I want to make that I've been sitting on for many many months you know waiting to just the right day to record it and today is the right day I got Sarah here she's gonna share in our video together and this video is a tribute to The Walking Dead everybody in the YouTube community Johnny Tez Anthony Rapino, all of us, we got to be good friends with The Walking Dead. And we lost him over a year ago. And the UK community, we were really sad about it. And I hated to see him go because he was one of the people I really started to talk to outside of YouTube when I first met him on his channel. He was just a delight. James Haggard. And this video is for you. You know, you'll always be remembered here on YouTube. And your legacy of videos is still up and people can still see them. And he just had a birthday this past October 5th this year. So it's time to do this video. And how long have I had these packages? Since April. Had these packages since April 2016. So, and I got another one. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, everybody. Just bear with us, please. So, Amber. Thank you for sending over these items that were possessions of The Walking Dad, and he just wanted me to have them. I was in talks with him. He saw, he said, that was something in your video. I know you saw something in my video, and you're interested in it. I'll send it your way. And I said, okay, sure. And now we have it. And I've been sitting on this box, like I said, for like since last April. So let's get it open. And I've moved since then. And <laughs> <laughs> me and with Sarah and these boxes have been going with me so thank you Amber for sending these over and DJ hope y'all enjoyed the video tell y'all a little bit more about The Walking Dead here in a little bit Duck Knife we'll get the box open Oop. cut away I think Duck Knife needs to be sharpened Duck Knife really needs to be sharpened I got this knife when I was 13 so it's still hanging in there I have no idea what's in here. I've completely forgotten over the months. So it should be interesting. What is this? Let's find out what this is. It's in a postal service bag. It's another bag. A bag inside of a bag. <laughs> it's a little bigger or something in here. Uh, <laughs> it's a little X-Men guy. I actually have one of these, but that's okay. I'll give this one to Daniel. He'll love it. Or I'll hang on to that one. And Sorry. It's a little figure of an X-Men Cyclops. You put him on his little stand here. Stickers. We've got stickers. We got two sheets of them. <laughs> Very cool. Some Hannibal stickers from, I believe these came out of a hard block. Look at this little thing. I don't know what that is. Is this a living, living dead doll figurine? A little mini. Yeah. I think it came in a hard block a while back. That's cute. It would look cool with a little light behind it. Yeah. All right. This little Thor keychain here. It's actually a lock. You pop it open. And you lock it back and then you put the key back in there. Oh, that's cute. You can put it on your backpack or something. Glow in the Dark Tron Mini from the Sci-Fi Minis. These are some of my favorite minis that Funko makes. This is the Glow in the Dark Tron figurine. Oh, he come out of the package. Let's see. Like yeah. Sorry. I'll see if I can fix it. But we got a Jason Voorhees reaction figure from Funko. Maybe stack it in the floor. I got a, another, another Jason. Another Jason Voorhees reaction figure. I, I really like this one too, and it came off the package, but that's okay. Everybody knows Funko, these reaction figures, 
they never stay Those on packages the packages. Never, yeah. They never do. I don't know why Funko has yet to do anything about it. You know why? Because they don't care about our opinion anymore. There's Frankenstein reaction figure. I really like that one. Okay. Maybe I can try to glue it back on there. Ew. I got another reaction figure here of Alien. That one's cool. And I have this, which is fine, but that's cool because I can open one. I'll open the one I have already and keep this one. Alien reaction figure. I like the card on these. The head glows in the dark on that one. You got a thingy. A maggot eye skeleton. And this makes me think of The Walking Dead. Uh, he really enjoyed Halloween. And he's, this is his time of year, so that's why I really want to get around to open his boxes. He squeezed it. He squeezed it and his eyes pop out. And it's maggots in it. The comic book notebook, which is cool. What is that? There's little tiny figures in there. Another Xenomorph alien sci-fi figure. Oh, it's a thing. That's awesome. And that, no, no, what was the, the Fantastic Four? It's a teeny tiny, I really like tiny figures. I do. That's why minis appeal to me because I can even have more of them. But this is a little teeny tiny little thing. Look at him. Here's another one. Look at Batman. And here's a Batman. I think this is Chibi. You know what Chibi is? I don't know. But it's a little Batman. He'll go on my Batman shelf. And that's kind of what started our whole talking on the YouTube was a Batman. Yeah, I remember that. We were talking about Batman. I was like, what is that giant? Well, y'all see what I mean in a few minutes. Here's an alien mini mate. Can't see it, but he's in there. I get his camera to refocus on us again. It'd be great. He doesn't want to do it. There. Sorry, technical difficulties. Actually, I don't want to do this. Geek tie. It's a geek tie of Space Invaders. You know, all these geeky ties he's ever got, he never wears them. I need some nice shirts. <laughs> you gotta have some nice button up collar shirts to wear these ties with. You need to wear them. I got another more geeky ties. I love geeky ties. What is that? Open it. I don't know. It's those. I like that right there. Spock. <laughs> another sci fi mini of Spock. You know? Rest in peace, Leonard Nimoy. Live long and prosper. I don't know. Oh, that'll be cool. You know who should have that? I think you should put away from personal. The Stealth Watch. From This was from a loot crate. Look, there's nothing there, but you just... Boom, you get the time, and then it disappears. It should go away. Boom, there it goes. Next. You get some Alien Legacy... Trading cards. Can't see it. Nice and full covers there. Got two packs. I'm not going to open these right now. Is that Alice Cooper? Alice Cooper print here from Boss of Great, I think it was. Yeah. Which is actually pretty cool. Nice little design there. One more item in this box here. Really good packaging. This is the NECA reaction figure. Love NECA figurines and their collectibles. They do the best on the market, in my opinion. Planet of the Apes. Charlton Heston NECA figure. It's really well done, too. It really looks like Charlton Heston, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is nice. I really like that. That'll go loud and proud on the wall. I just wish they would make more packages where you could pop them open and then put them back in. Like a lot of their figures they're making now, like the, the ultimate style figures they make, NECA makes, you can take them out of the box and then put them right back in the box like they've never been opened. Just wish you could do it with these ones. That's nice. Thank you very much for that, Amber. And James. Alright. 
Moving along, we got one more box over here. And this has probably got the item that started us talking about a lot on YouTube. Uh, what'd you do with the duck? You put it down. Duck knife. I can't open it, remember? I just jumped in big, really, with the the box. Yeah, my cats were trying to scratch on the box, so I wanted to get them open. They were trying to tell me you need to open the box, and she's been telling me for months I need to open these boxes. It's a hard thing to do, and I know it's not. Yeah, we all miss you, James Packard. Wow, it's not a whole lot in here, but it's big items. It's good. This is cool. Amber and Walking Dead, they know I love Ghostbusters, so they sent me this Funko Pop Ghostbusters ride. It's got Winston riding in it there. Can't really see it in there, but he's in there. I'm not gonna open him right now. But I'd love me some Ghostbusters. Everybody knows if you just walk back in that room, it just hits you in the face. All the Ghostbusters stuff. Yeah, sure does. <laughs> now this little guy I don't is know really what you unique. Think of his little in this thing. There's nothing little. About there wasn't many of these. He is bigger made. than anything else. Um, and I know these are pretty valuable now because they don't make a lot of the really large scale Funko Pops. This right here is considered a large scale Funko Pop, but that's small compared to this. But look at this. I don't remember seeing it on his videos. What is that gigantic Batman pop he got in the background there? And I asked him two or three times on different videos, and finally one video, The Walking Dead talked about the giant pop. And this is just your standard DC. This is the Batman pop that the very first, I want to say one of the very first ones they came out with. Yeah, the are DC. these all giants? No, they're not all giants. Oh, See, these are 3.77, 33 and a quarter inch style. And this is, I can't remember how big this one is, but we're going to take them out. And then I'll give you a comparison here. Rip Snuffy, he's a big one. Snuffy's bigger than your average. But this one, look at this, look at that. As big as my head. <laughs> this is awesome. Look how much. Now, this is your Whoa, regular this is size. Snuffy. This is your regular size, like large pops they come out with now, but this is the giant See? pop. Average pop, bigger pop, huge pop. That's just fantastic. I was like, that is a gigantic pop. And I think on Amazon, these are well over $50 for one of these. And that was over a year ago when I looked. And his head still moves. He'll definitely go up on my Batman shelf. And I don't they do make large pops, like I think mm. they got a Walking Dead Daryl Dixon large size pop, but they don't make too many large ones anymore. Look at that. Huge. It's crazy. I saw a Ludo from the Labyrinth. It's gigantic. Look at that. This is, that's great. I'll gladly keep this feather. Uh, thank you very much, Amber, for sending this over, sending me these packages of items from The Walking Dead. If y'all didn't know who The Walking Dead is, I'll put the link in the description below. You can go see all the nice, fun videos you used to do. James Haggard, The Walking Dead, we all miss you. And you take care, Amber and DJ. And if you ever need anything on Facebook, just you know, shoot a message. And I appreciate these items. I'll keep them. And every time I look at them, I'll think of James Haggard, The Walking Dad. And I want to show him something on my phone. All right. She came to my house that night. I heard the news about the passing of The Walking Dad, and I was really upset. I had to pull off on the side of the road come at home because I got a message uh, from Amber on my phone. Y'all want to see that. Still got all the messages on my phone from The Walking Dad from when I first started talking to him on Facebook Messenger. I just I can't bring myself to delete it. I just got all kinds of little things on here. Like, uh, let me find something funny he said if I can. 
Oh, he was how he's talking about telling me what he was going to do on his upcoming YouTube videos and all the little sculptures and things he was making, which I was looking forward to getting some of his little sculptures. But I'll put the link in the description below. Y'all can go visit his channel, see some of the nice, fun things he used to do. He had this nice, big little hat he used to wear with all these buttons on it, and he'd shake it around. And he wore a mask in his videos, if y'all don't know. It'd be a person fun thing for y'all to see on for Halloween to have him see him and his like I'm not sure what kind of mask that was to be honest it's like a like a zombie-ish type of mask wasn't it? No it wasn't a clown that's all I know. <laughs> no it wasn't a clown <laughs> it wasn't mask. A clown. It was but he would laugh creepy. and his hat would just yeah. flop around. He actually gave me this shirt here on the trade bots we did together. I'll put the link in the description below y'all can watch that video if you like. Thank you very much Amber for sending this stuff over. Your husband, he will always be remembered. And I know Johnny Tez, and we all think about him from time to time. And Y'all be safe over there. Anything hey. to say? Yep, I have one last thing to say. I think we should both say it. Oh, yes, we got one more thing to say. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Stay, Stay creepy! <laughs>